Micro Thunder! Hi everyone, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of Player One Start. Today we're going to talk about Hydro Thunder. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Hydro Thunder is a speedboat racing game that was originally developed for arcades. This game is part of Midway's Thunder series of racing games, which include Off-Road Thunder, Four-Wheel Thunder, and Arctic Thunder. There was a sequel release called Hydro Thunder Hurricane that was later released for the Xbox 360's Xbox Live Arcade. The arcade version of Hydro Thunder utilizes the same cabinet as San Francisco Rush, and it used the same steering wheel on the control panel as Cruising USA. In addition to the arcade, Hydro Thunder has been ported to several home consoles. The PlayStation version of the game includes a career mode not found in any other version. The Dreamcast version has the graphics that are more detailed closer to the arcade version. And the N64 allows four people to play simultaneously in local multiplayer. I personally remember pumping many quarters into this game as a kid, and was very excited to see it ported to home consoles. So when I played Hydro Thunder in the arcades in the 1990s, this was yet another example of how arcades is where the leading edge of technology was in gaming. So appropriately, the first home port of Hydro Thunder was on the Sega Dreamcast as a launch title on 9.9 of 99. Micro Thunder! Choose your track! Lost Island! Choose your boat! Midway! Three, two, one! Go, go, go! So the home port of Hydro Thunder on the Dreamcast was leaps and bounds above what I was used to after playing the PlayStation 1. So the next two ports came out side by side. It was the port for the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation 1. And as you can imagine, they are a little bit inferior, but both for different reasons. Hydro Thunder! Choose your track! Thunder Park! Choose your boat! And the torpedoes! Three, two, one! Go, go, go! Super start!
So the big letdown for me on the Nintendo 64 version, I was expecting smoother polygons, which it does deliver, but oh my gosh, the speed of the thing is incredibly slow. I didn't actually realize this until I started editing footage together to compare between the PlayStation and the N64, but even the timer runs slower on the Nintendo 64, and I don't know why this is. So I have a jumper pack installed into mine, so it has more RAM to work with. I'm not sure if this cartridge was optimized to work with it, but as it came out at the end of the N64's life cycle, I think it's safe to assume that they knew it was a possibility. So I found the N64 version disappointing just based on the fact that it runs incredibly slow. It does make the game a little bit easier as it gives you a bit more time to react to things, but overall it makes the gameplay really boring. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the PlayStation version. Hydro Thunder! Choose your track. Arctic Circle. Choose your boat. Midway. Flight support. Go. Oxygen B. Go. Ejection system. We have a go. Cup holder. Cup holder. Go. Signal for go. Navigation system. Go. Speed gauge. Go. Eight track and set flare. No go. Radar uplink. Up where you go. Flight support. Go. Oxygen B. Three. So the PlayStation version has its own strengths and weaknesses. First off, of course, the polygon count and the textures are going to be a little bit different. The N64 actually does this a little bit better in terms of the smoothness of polygons. The PlayStation has more detailed textures, but they seem to be stretched to the point where every pixel just seems huge. So I actually find that the polygons look distorted or warped in weird fashion because of the oversized textures they have to use to keep everything, I guess, running at optimal frame rates. The second weakness on the PlayStation version is the load time. I think they do a good job of covering up for this though because they go through a checklist of everything that they're supposedly working on to make sure that your speedboat's going to run at optimal efficiency. 
Moving on to the strengths of the PlayStation version is definitely the speed. This has all of the arcade action you would expect out of Hydro Thunder, and yes, it does look presentable. It actually looks good for a PlayStation 1 title when you compare it to other titles that are out there for the PlayStation. Alright, so let's do a direct compare of the PlayStation version to the Nintendo 64. Choose your trap! Choose your boat! Tidal Blade! So if you haven't noticed yet, the Nintendo 64 version is significantly slower. Even the timer is running slower than the PlayStation version. So I went ahead and sped up the N64 footage and I found out it's running, the PlayStation version runs about 35% faster, so I needed to speed up the footage about that far to make it match up with the PlayStation version. Now when I initially did this video, I had no intention of comparing the Dreamcast version with these other two, because it's a completely different generation of technology. The Dreamcast was meant to compete with the Sony PlayStation 2 and eventually the Xbox, so the Dreamcast wasn't meant to compete with the PlayStation 1 or the N64 other than to get the jump on them before they released their next consoles. However, I do have a version to compare against the Dreamcast one, and that is because Hydro Thunder was actually released on the GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation 2. I have the PlayStation 2 version, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Choose your boat! Midway! So looking at the PlayStation 2 version, you can see that it's not that much different from the Dreamcast version. The graphics look on par for other titles at the time. So let's go ahead and compare the PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast side by side. Alright, so when you compare the Dreamcast to the PlayStation 2 version, I almost say it's like splitting hairs. If you were to look at it to other games that came out on the PlayStation 2, you would say it was average graphics. But if you look at it on the Dreamcast, you would say it was cutting edge graphics. So the Dreamcast version came out in 1999, 
The PlayStation 2 version didn't come out until 2005. And I think that they just ported this game over with little regard to enhancing the graphics on it, so they look very similar. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at all four games compared side by side. So if I was going to rank these games, I would say the PlayStation 2 version is number one, and that's out of a matter of convenience. The PlayStation 2 is always going to be hooked up because there are a lot of games I like playing on it. The Dreamcast, however, since it has a smaller game library and not rid of any games that I enjoy playing often on it, so even though they look about the same and play about the same, because the PlayStation 2 was the more popular console and the one that I play more often, I rank it just above the Dreamcast version. Third on my list is the PlayStation 1 version. Now this has nothing to do with popularity, it has to do with the failings of the N64 version. Here is a strong case where better graphics do not necessarily make a better game. I think that if the N64 could have got the speed issue worked out and maybe cut back on some of the graphics to make it run better, uh, then I would say that the N64 version would be better, but since it ran into that issue and I just really don't like that, the N64 version comes in last. Alright, so overall, what are my thoughts on Hydro Thunder? This entire video for me has been a huge nostalgia trip back in time. I really enjoy playing Hydro Thunder, and which is why I ended up buying it on several different consoles. I didn't intend to collect this version on each console, it's just that every time I came across the console and I saw Hydro Thunder, I'm like, oh, I love that game, I'm gonna grab it, not realizing I may have already had it for some other consoles. I don't think any of the home ports can really take the place of what it's like playing the arcade cabinet. In fact, if I were to collect arcade cabinets, I would say, if not at the top of the list, it's gotta be in my top five, Hydro Thunder would be one of them. All right, well that about wraps it up for this video. Remember, if you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button, share with a friend. You can follow me on social media or on my website, www.p1start.com. That's P-O-N-E start.com. Again, I thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because I have more content coming. I'll see you guys next time.